um, a very, very, very simple piece of stuff, but it, I think it's very important um, uh, in terms of just a coin. It, it's in terms of how to look at your magic when you're practicing and everything else. So uh, I'm going to look at the shuttle pass today and how I change it up very slightly. And I've got this lovely moment that I did. The, I've been doing this move now for eight or nine years. It's been a long, long time since before I did the first ball us. And the reason I remember it is before the first ball us because when I did the first ball us, I showed the routine. I've got like a through the hands routine that I do where uh, the coin goes through the spectator's hand and then ends up on. Uh, the palm here and then ends up under their watch and just a routine I've been doing for a long time is on Urban um, and uh, I used this this shuttle pass then um, I saw a, a clip of Ben Earl doing uh, just a, a trailer for his, uh, his his real coin magic set and, and he used the same move in there so which is wonderful that something that I uh, came up with is also something that Ben would feel that you know, once he's come up with it, that he's good enough to you. So Ben's obviously come up with it in his own time, and so have I. It's one of those things. It happens all the time. But I'm very privileged to say that I use a move um, that Ben also uses. And I, I say this on a what I saw in a clip. I may be miles out. I haven't bought the uh, the work, but I saw something very similar here in, in the trailer. So uh, I'm just going to talk about this move now and why I think it's important. Um, in how you structure your magic. Okay, so let's look at the shuttle pass, how it normally looks. All right, so the shuttle pass is obviously taking a coin here and not putting it in the hand. All right, so that is the essential uh, gist. I'll take this off so it's not confusing. Okay, that's the, that's the thing. You, you pop it on here and you throw it. Now, what you're doing uh, essentially is you're trying to get the um, eye to follow the movement. Okay, that, that's that's the idea. So when you uh, you bring it over and you throw, and the hand keeps going, the, the eye naturally follows this thing. But you've got this kind of weird curl as you throw it. Yeah. So, and not many people curl their hand. It's kind of a weird. It, it just didn't quite look. I don't know. It's a little bit bit grippy. All right. So all I did, and it was just a, a little a little touch is I place the coin on my middle finger and I bring my third finger up and I roll like this. So what I'm doing is I'm creating that movement but without having to sort of throw the coin. I mean, it looks fine, but I just think there's something not quite right about it. Um, so I clip and then pivot, all right? So it looks like this. All right, so you take the coin. Now what's nice is you don't have this kind of unnatural tossing action Wee giggity, all right. You don't have this unnatural action. You just hear, and, and you've got that retention of movement. And retention. You've got that continuation uh, movement without having to really overly throw the coin. You just. It's very similar to. Excuse me. Very similar to this one. You know, where you drop the coin down, but you catch it with your little finger as it comes down. You you, you bring it in here, but it looks like it falls in because because the movement is going down. It looks like it falls in. But this is a really unnatural way to put a coin in your hand, right? So it's very similar to that, but you're just doing a very small, it's so subtle, but I think it looks really natural. It keeps his hand nice and natural, and this obviously uh, keeps it here. So you're all, you land your finger palm, but when you land your finger palm, your, your hand is at an angle that hides the fact you're like this. Whereas when you turn your hand over to drop the coin, you're naturally bringing these fingers to the front, all right? So what you don't want is that, you want this. All right, so it's much more natural. So it just looks like it's rolling out of your hand. Now, um, I don't do it as a big vanish, you know, when I do this. It's just, you know, to load it under their watch or whatever you're doing. But my point being, whenever you're practicing something, if if you feel like even if you do it perfectly, you're still not happy with something, completely change it. Don't be afraid to, because Bobo says that you must do a shot or pass like this, that that's how you must do something, all right? Um, use what your... your uh, uh, library use your resource to inspire you okay don't let it be like a, uh, a doctrine that you have to follow let it inspire you so this little move i say just from here to here is not about this isn't a tutorial on this although it is as simple as that the second thing with the shuttle pass i'm just going to explain is miming okay so a lot of people when they do a shuttle pass they do they go like this 
the larger action will cover the smaller action. Yeah, but this just looks weird, all right? So you really need to practice your miming skills, okay? So all you're gonna do is take the coin and put it in there. I mean, you do exactly as if there was nothing there. You should be able to do exactly the same move. All right, so when you do go to put a coin in, it'll look the same. It'll, it'll just look like you're not really doing much because essentially that isn't a big deal in real life, is it? All right, so don't suddenly start going, putting the coin in, you know, or all this. Don't over, just, just mimic what you do. So the best way to do it is to actually uh, roll that coin into that hand. Yeah, so it, it looks exactly the same. So it should look exactly the same every time. Um, so work on your miming, as in, forget the coin. You need to be able to make your hands look exactly like they do when you're not holding a coin. That is really important. Um, again, because it doesn't bring people, it doesn't give their people that feeling that something's happened. I didn't see what happened, but something definitely happened then. Or uh, they put a coin in his hand, blah, 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 you know? So um, it's really important to work on your miming skills. Like, drill the miming skills so hard so that you've got uh, a real a natural way with your hands of just sort of handling things that aren't there. Um, you remember how you do things when you do have a coin. It should look exactly the same. Ooh, all right, so... Uh, with that in mind, you've got your um, the drill in your mind, so you're doing this exactly to, to match real life. Add the coin in, and now obviously you need to work on whichever palm or whichever you know classic palm, whatever you're using. Then you need to work on the technique. But by now, your hands should, when you're doing those moves, they should stay in this sort of natural, relaxed state. Okay, in this case, we're going to use this uh, this roll. I don't know what it's called. I haven't named it. I don't like naming stuff when I'm not sure I've created it. I invented this for myself, but I'm sure it's out there already. I don't know how long Ben's been doing it. I don't know if Ben does it at all. I mean, I may have missed seeing what I thought I saw in the trailer, but that is the move, all right? So that's why I changed it, okay? Because you're, you're the, the dirty hand, the dirty fingers are out the back, all right? Not the, not the front, and also it's a more natural action, but it still gives you the continuation of movement. And now once you've got a new idea, play with it. I like this idea as well, where you just roll it back and then, so you, you, you're almost not putting in your hand, you're, you're here and then up, you know, so it's kind of, um, yeah, you just roll it back and you've got the same movement of it going backwards and all that sort of stuff, uh, but yeah, you just pick a coin up if you had it in your hand, really. I don't even mind it flashes on the way back, because I, I do this conversationally, you know, I'll, I'll take the coin and it's more about the fact that this, this whole frame stays exactly the same. All right, so yeah, I mean that for me is just so much nicer than you know all this stuff. You know, I take this coin because that's normal. You know, you just don't, you just pick it up. It's it's not a big deal. All right, so try and keep your moves as natural as possible by drilling the mime before you do the move. Okay, and then once you've got the move, uh, have a look at it and make sure you're hundred percent happy with it. If you're not, see how you can tweak it. See how you can change it. Okay, that's what I did with the simple shuttle pass. Um, try it it's really really nice you'll find your hands are really relaxed uh, it still leaves you in finger palm okay because you're going from here to here you're still in finger palm um but you're uh essentially now in a position where you've not really done a great deal of movement or overly exaggerated any of the uh here's my coin i'll pick this up just find it weird i don't like attention but i mean who puts a coin in their hand like as long as it, it looks lovely i'm sure but what the hell is, why are you trying so hard? And the reason I can't do it is I don't like, it's, it's a lovely vanish, sure, but who the hell was that? You know, people are looking now, you know? It's like doing the pass to people. It's the same idea, I don't get, why would you put a coin in your hand that way? Just pick the bloody thing up. Yeah, so uh, those are my ideas and um, views on simple things like shuttle passes and vanishes of coins. I like to keep it as natural as possible. Um, I like the angles to be as clean as possible, as open as possible. I don't do this thing where you start to do shadow puppets and, you know, all oh, like everything's vanished and I'm not interested in any of that. I just like to do coin magic where it's all very, uh, very clean, very basic, very what people are expecting to see. So when the coin does end up under their watch or bent or anything else, it's um, it just looks like a bloke with a coin, not, you know, someone who's up here and then here and then, and, then, and, then, and then here and you know I don't like a sequence of things that look like you can really cleverly hide a coin in different places good luck to the guys who do it obviously but not for me alright and this channel is my channel which is me getting across 
the way that I like to do things and I'm hoping you guys are starting to get on board with that now um, uh, for everyday stuff. Now bear in mind I like to talk about magic that works in everyday situations, all right? not in perfect camera angle uh, 21st take stuff. That stuff's got a place, of course it has, but uh, I'm talking about going out and performing regularly, surrounded, all that sort of stuff and this sort of thing just works because it's natural. I like people won't be looking for it. So it's not about making it as difficult as possible to impress magicians. It's about taking what you can do, make it perfectly natural so it flies by for people that are paying you to do magic, which is more important in my book. All right, guys, I don't know if I rambled on a lot about this 10p, but there's more to this video than about uh, the mechanics of a uh, shut up bars, a uh, false transpose. Is this more about the psychology behind that move? Okay, it's more about um, not showing off for the sake of showing off. It's the same policy I had with the past and everything else. You know, invisible moves should be invisible, and I feel like putting a coin from one hand to the other should look like you're putting a coin from one hand to the other. You know. Um, so yeah, hopefully you'll get something from this. Hopefully you will use these moves and use these ideas when you start putting together your routines. Um, if you like to be flashy with stuff, with coins, um, with cards, anything else, please crack on. I'm not saying that's not right, I'm just saying it's not right for me, and uh, I'm just putting forward what's right for me, in my opinions, on these videos. All right, so I hope it makes sense. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think below. Leave a comment, leave a like. Um, don't forget to press the subscribe button, because we're getting towards 10,000. We're at 7,000, but when we get to 10,000, we've got a big, big, big giveaway so uh just keep sharing it out and getting the uh, guys to come and watch because it'll be wonderful if we can get there and the ta box set giveaway is incredible all right guys i will see you soon thanks for watching this is your three video day i hope you've enjoyed it i'm gonna go and chill out and have a bit more time to myself um while we get things sorted out with all of that stuff and i will see you on the other side big love and peace out